ya hima na wakaja na baadhi ya askofu wengine na kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana tunataka kuingia katika kipindi cha lala salama na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni kijana hapa ndiye anaenda kutunenea kwa hivyo u... usidharau hata kidogo kanisa la pefa dandora kwa sababu yule ambaye sasa yule emeritus ambaye alikuwa hapa ni bishop dr Mofat Kilioba angekuwa nasi lakini sasa yuko Israel alikuwa hapa alikuwa presiding bishop pefa Kenya anaye preside saa hii alikuwa hapa bishop dr john okinda anaye mfuata ni kijana wa hapa bishop dr samuel munai yeye ni deputy presiding bishop ya Pefa Churches Kenya. Kwa wale pengine wajui makanisa yetu Kenya peke yake ni zaidi ya elf sita. Tukienda Uganda, tukienda Tanzania, tukienda Rwanda, Burundi, tukienda Kongo. Kongo tuna zaidi ya makanisa kumi na tano elf. Na tukienda Congo Brazzaville tuna makanisa mengi zaidi ya elfu tatu. Na Congo ni kubwa sana DRC ni kubwa sana ndio kwa sababu unakuta kwamba makanisa ni zaidi hata pengine sina hesabu kamili lakini ni zaidi ya elfu kumi na tano. Na tunashukuru Mungu atusemi tu ya kwamba tunasema tulienda huko na tu, katika nchi zingine hapa Kenya, amina hapa Afrika, katika bara la Afrika tuna makanisa kadha wa kadha ambao Bwana kwa neema yake kama eh, 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 uh, gani tena uh, sehemu za uh, Togo uh, tuna makanisa ya pefa na tunashukuru lakini madhumuni sio tu kuanzisha makanisa ya pefa madhumuni haswa tuweze kuhubiri injili ya ufalme watu waokoke waende mbinguni bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana tunashukuru zaidi kwa wema na fadhili basi jioni hii uh, sina budi kukaribisha mpendwa wetu Ukiona leo nimekuwa mnyamavu kidogo uh, ni kwa sababu mkubwa wangu is in the house. Sasa akiwa ni deputy presiding bishop, sasa mimi nikileta shida nitamwaga unga haraka. <laughs> kwa hivyo mkumbuke jana tuliambiwaje. Tuna watu ambao tunawaita ma honorables lakini they are not. Lakini watumishi wa Bwana ambao ni honorables uh, awatambuliwi ningependa sote tunyanyuke kwa maguu ni fursa yangu kubwa kukaribisha sio mwingine bali ni bishop dr samuel munai shikokone shikokone <laughs> Ni shikoneke sio shikokone shikoneke na changa amina
I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, we may have our seats. Basi naomba tuketi chini. Uh, to the to the bishop of Pefa Nairobi region kwa askofu wa Pefa Nairobi region and the senior pastor of Dandora Cathedral akiwa ni mchungaji mkuu wa Pefa Cathedral Dandora in charge of missions Pefa Kenya ambaye amesimamia pia missions Pefa Kenya together with your wife pamoja na mke wake Reverend Margaret akasisi uh, Margaret uh, honorable ministers who are with us here today pamoja na wahuduma wenzetu ambao wako nasi apa the leadership of uh, Dandora Cathedral uongozi wa Pefa Dandora Cathedral uh, everyone who has attended this conference na kila mmoja wetu ambaye pia ameweza ku jiunga katika kongamano hili I greet you in the name of the Lord praise the Lord na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe uh, I serve at South B mimi ninatumika pale kanisa la South B and we thank God for the grace that he has given to us in South B Tunashukuru Mungu kwa neema ambayo ametupatia pale South B uh, together with me this afternoon pamoja na nami ala siri ya leo I have Reverend Muli nina mkasisi Muli ndoke ba mituki Eh oka ba oka ba oka ba mituki eh nduke semba oka semba, semba semba mituki eh no na na sembere eh. na sande and then uh, we have reverend muli we closely work together they make my work very easy basi wanafanya naye kazi kwa karibu wana rahisisha kazi yake i sincerely appreciate nina mpongeza he is a good man yeye ni mtu mzuri if you think i am good kaukidhania kwamba mimi ni mwema these are the people who make me look good basi hawa ndio wale ambao unanifanya ninakaa vyema i have been out of the country nimekuwa nje ya nchi hii ya kenya i don't know what is happening sijini kitu gani kinaendelea but the church is okay lakini kanisa liko sawa because of men like this kwa sababu ya watu kama huyo i have reverend muli niko na reverend muli reverend ah. I'm still on Muli. Reverend Maina is right there. Niko na Kasisi Maina. Come 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 please. Leo kangera tengera tengera okay. Eh. Narua narua narua. Leo kanarua. Ah Reverend Maina. Basi Kasisi Maina, very good guy. Basi huyu ni jamaa mzuri. These are people who hold my hands. Hawa ndio wale ambao wananishikilia mikono. The moment I don't have money. Wakati ambapo sina pesa. This is the man I blame. Basi huyu jamaa ndio ninalaumu. Sina fare ya kurudi Saudi B. Nikimwambia tu sina pesa atamsote. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They really take good care of me. Basi uhakika wananishughulikia vyema. Please pass your greetings. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ndadora tunawapenda tunaye baba. Baba Bora, sio Bora baba. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ya vile mmesikia majina ni Pastor John Maina. Zaidi ya yote nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Nashukuru kwa mahali hapa. Tusikize neno. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Asante. Amen. My brother has been sick and so my wife has been taking care of my brother. Basi kuna ndugu yangu mmoja ambaye amekuwa mgonjwa na mke wangu amekuwa akishughulika sana naye. We were to come together here but we we divided ourselves. Tulikuwa tuja pamoja na mke wangu lakini tukajigawa and we thank God. Na tunashukuru Mungu. I thank God for my dear mom Mrs. Kupara she is right there. Let's celebrate my dear mom. Basi nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya Mrs. Kupara mama yangu. Yeah, we were here many 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 years ago. Tulikuwa hapa miaka hizo za zamani. And I want to celebrate everyone in Dandora. Nami nataka kupongeza kila mmoja wenu wa Dandora. Can you give yourselves a big hand? Hebu tujipigie makofi. Thank you uh, the praise team. Asanteni my brother kundi la sifa ndugu yangu Sila July, uh, August, na July August June. Thank you so much. Asante <laughs> sana. Debora. <laughs> I appreciate all of you. <laughs> Bishop Randa takes a special place in my heart. And uh, let me just celebrate this servant of God. When you look at us you might think we are brothers. Because we walk close closely together. Bishop Randa has held my hand. Even when I was inchi 
na moja wa washirika akafa and i had to cut short my trip na ikabidi niweze kukatiza safari yangu ya ngambo bishop pranda was there basa skofu pranda alikuwa hapo kwa niaba was there in the church alikuepo pale kanisani in the memorial service hata katika ile memorial service he was there at the at the, at the morgue yeye alikuwa pale katika mochori mwili ukitolewa and he we, i flew arrived on saturday morning and went straight to kisumu i found him there basi mimi nili asili jumamosi asubuhi nikafululiza hadi kisumu nikamkuta yuko huko bishop and mama i celebrate you basi askofu na mama ninawashirikia makofi mazuri amen 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 i was telling him when i retire nilikuwa ninamwambia kwamba nitaka postafu no this is not good news to you basi no si habari njema kwako when i retire bishop nitaka postafu askofu i want to retire here mimi nataka postafu niwe hapa because uh, in south bia ma missionary kwa sababu south bia mimi ni missionary amen amen yeah we've grown here we've done stuff here basi tumelelewa hapa tumefanya mambo hapa we have done many things tumefanya mambo mengi and we thank god na tunashukuru mungu praise the name of the lord jina la bwana litukuze amen amen i will share very briefly the word of god with you basi nitashiriki kwa kifupi neno la mungu pamoja nanyi and i believe the lord is going to bless you nami naamini ya kwamba mungu ana enda kuwabariki I think one of my things that I've kept saying in the paper forums katika moja wapo ya jambo ambalo ninaendelea kusisitiza katika mikutano za pepa because there is one thing that is killing our great organization called pepa kuna kitu kimoja ambacho kinaua shirika hili letu kuu ambalo linaitwa pepa and what is it na ni kitu gani title jina ama vyeo we have too much title kuna vyeo vingi but the work is not there lakini kazi haionekani you find somebody is called a bishop unapata mtu anajiita bishop but there is nothing lakini hakuna kitu praise the name of the lord jina la bwana litukuzwe until even that title bishop is meaningless baka unapata ya kwamba hicho cheo cha bishop kinakana kwamba kimemwagiliwa maji and i keep saying na mimi endelea kusema hivi I am not a bishop because it's a title. Mimi sio askofu kwa sababu ni cheo. All you need to do come at South B and look at the work. Wewe njoo South B na uweze kuona kazi inayoendelea. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. And we thank God. Nasi tunamshukuru Mungu. I want to speak to you on what uh, Bishop has told me nena lolote. So I want to speak on lolote. Basi askofu ameniambia nizungumuze tu lolote ambalo Mungu anaweka ndani Are you ready for lolote? Je, mko tayari kwa lolote lile? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I was thinking I want to close my eyes and say riba kanta raba ba. And then I opened the Bible. Oh, and then I say we are going to read from here. <laughs> But because this is a conference. Lakini kwa sababu hili ni kongamano singefunga Biblia, nifunge macho, uh, ni rabasai kalafu nifungue raa. Allow me to bring the word of God and I'm, I'm glad I came with a with a, with a chero a chero i was almost forgetting a chero we a chero a chero made sure he picked me early in the morning from south b and drove me here let's celebrate a chero basi tumsherekee a chero ba kasisi ka a chero the senior Ali pastor nyumbani the senior pastor of ngimo pepa church basi mchungaji mkuu wa ngimo pepa church a church that Mabuko. we are dedicating next sunday kanisa ambalo tunaweka wakfu tarehe 30 state of the art yani ime imejengwa vyema let's celebrate the servant of god hebu tumsherekee mtumishi wa mungu amen Amina. gifted gifted in singing gifted in playing the guitar yani gifted ana, in playing the keyboard vingi, gifted in writing no, 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 gifted no, 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 in preaching na amenyamaza hivyo tu <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. We celebrate you servant of God. As hakika tunakusherekea mtumishi wa Mungu. Amen. Amina. It is worth mentioning that I've written one book. Basi ni vyema kuweza kutaja kwamba mimi ni mwandishi nimeandika kitabu kimoja. Dwelling in the presence of God. Hudumu katika uwepo wa Bwana. Second book is almost out. Kitabu cha pili karibu kutokelezea. The gates malango amen amen and we'll continue moving na tutaendelea kusonga i want to speak to you on what i'm calling divine encounter ninataka kunena nasi kila ambacho ninaitwa kukutana na mungu kiungu divine encounter kukutana na mungu kiungu and as i speak about this subject naponena kuhusu somo hili basi ile kuku ile kukuta kukutana kiroho amen amen are you ready Are you ready to work with me? Uko tayari kutembea nami? Are you ready to work with me? Uko tayari kutembea nami? Now there are things 
that follow us in our lives kuna vitu ambavyo vinaandamana nasi maishani mwetu and as i speak about this subject ninaponena kuhusu somo hili i want to talk to you about a family tree ninataka kunena nanyi kuhusu mti wa jamii so i want you you go back and look at your family tree ningependa uweze kurejeleza mawazo na uweze kuangalia jamii kule ambako umetoka because if these things will continue to follow you kama mambo haya yataendelea kukufuata you will not be able to go forward wewe hautaweza kusonga As we come to the closure of this conference there are things we must uproot in the name of Jesus there are things we must tell the devil this will not continue in my life oh there is a new chapter that must be opened in our lives somebody say hallelujah the devil has been used to us he has oppressed us every trouble every bad thing every bad luck is coming on our lives we want to say no lift your hand and say no Come on, declare no. Sema la, tanga. So I went to school. Hakuenda shuleni. Your grandfather. Babu yako. Never went to school. Hata yeye hakuenda shuleni. Your father. Baba yako. Struggled in class 4. Ali alingangana kufika darasa la 2. Your children. Watoto wako. Are struggling with class 2. Wanangangana darasa la 2. Today. Leo. We are breaking that line in the name Una of Jesus. Kuna vunja mambo haya katika jina la Yesu. I said we are breaking that line in the name of Jesus. Kuna vunja katika jina la Yesu. Whatever has come from whatever family tree Jochote ambacho kimetokana na wao uzao wa jamii in this conference katika kongamano hili we stop it in jesus name come on i say we stop it in jesus name unakikomesha katika jina la yesu you find there is a disease unapata kuna aina ya ugonjwa let's let me use cancer wacha nitumie saratani your great grandfather died of cancer babu ya babu yako alikufa na cancer your grandfather died of cancer babu yako akafa na cancer your uncle died of cancer oh ba um, It, it seems like it is still coming. It is now following you. I declare in the name of Jesus. It is not your portion. I say it is not your portion. May the Lord set you free. I declare may the Lord set you free. You look at your family. Nobody has ever amounted into anything. I mean nothing. You have never succeeded in any area. Nobody even owned a bicycle. I declare today. The beginning of your success. Hey, the beginning of your success. Come on, the beginning beginning of your success is happening in this meeting if you believe it say hallelujah i mean how comes in mekuaje no 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 we ha. must tell the devil no lazima tuambie sheto la no la no la no la God must bless us. Mungu ni sharti atubariki. And I release the doors of blessings. Nami naachilia milango ya baraka. I release the doors of blessings. Naachilia milango ya baraka. May the favor of blessing come over your life. Oh, kibali cha baraka kiwe juu yako. May the Lord lift you one more time. Bwana na kuinua mara nyingine tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you look at that family tree, unapangalia mti wa wajamii. You have never gone beyond Dandora. Hamjawai enda zaidi ya Dandora. The farthest you have gone is town and Kiambu. Basi kule ambapo ni umeenda ni Kiambu. Airport you just see the flights going. Hapa uwanja wa ndege unaona ndege tu zikipaa juu. When I lived here I never knew one day siku jua siku moja I will ever go to that thing nitaenda kwa hiyo ndege ya juu But here I am lakini niko hapa from plot number 969 up here hapa plot 969 look at what the lord has done angalia kile ambacho mungu ameweka I declare to you today we are bringing it to an end tunafikisha kikomo and you will spring You will spring. Wewe utainuka. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. If you believe it say amen. Kama unaamini sema amina. In the book of Genesis 11. Katika mwanzo mlango wa 11. Follow with me this closely. Basi enda pamoja nami vyema. Verse number 27. Aya 27. The Bible reads. Biblia inasema. This is the account of Terah's family line. Basi nasema hivi, na hivi ndivyo vizazi vya Terah. This is the account na hivi ndivyo vizazi ama hii ndio utaratibu wa usemi wa jamii Terra's family line wa jamii ya Terra The Bible is giving us a summary basi Biblia inatupa muktasari of a man by the name Terra wa mtu kwa jina 
Terra. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja. Come on, are we together? Tuko pamoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say Terra. Mtu aseme Terra. Come on, say Terra. Sema Terra. And you can draw, you can begin to draw that family tree because I will talk about the family tree of Terra here. Na unaweza anza kuchora vizazi vya vya jamii yako. And you can see what is happening there. Na unaweza kuona ni kitu gani ambacho kinatendeka pale. So those to our destiny. Kwa Hatima yetu. May the Lord send you today. Bwana Yesu na tutume leo. I say may the Lord send you today. Bwana na tutume leo. May the Lord send you today. Bwana na tutume leo. If you believe it say amen. Amen sema amina. So the Bible says this is the account of Terra's family line. Biblia inasema ya kwamba haya ndio maelezo kuhusu vizazi vya Terra. What about Terra? Je, Terra kuna nini kumhusu Terra? Number 1. Jambo la kwanza. Terra begot Abraham. Basi Terra akamzaa Abraham. The father of Terra became the father of Abraham. Terra kafanyika baba ya Abrahamu. Nohar and Haran. Na Huru da pamoja na Harani. Look at those names now. Hebu angalia hayo majina. Terra. Terra. Is the father of who? Yeye ndiye baba ya nani? Talk to me. The father of who? Baba ya nani? Number 1? Abraham. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, number 1? Number 2? And number 3? So Terra has how many children? Terra kuna watoto wangapi? Hello. Hello. Terra has how many children? Watoto wangapi Terra? 3. Watatu. Can you name them? Hebu wataja kwa majina. Number one, Abraham. Number two, Nahor. And number three, Haran. So he is a he is a father. Yeye ni baba. Has three children. Ana watoto watatu. And I believe the way they appear in the scriptures. Ninaamini kwamba jinsi ambavyo wako kwenye maandiko. Abraham was the first born. Basi Abraham ndiye alikuwa mzaliwa. Nahor was the second born. Nahor alikuwa wa pili. And Haran was the third born. Haran ndiye alikuwa wa tatu. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? Let's keep drawing the tree. Hebu tuendelee kuchora mti huu. Haran na Harani became the father of Lot. Akafanyika baba ya Lutu. Can we say that together? One, two, three, let's go. And Haran became the father of Lot. Meaning, who is Lot to Abraham? Talk to me. Who is Lot to Abraham? Nani? So niambieni Lutu kwa Abraham ni nani? Nephew. Who is Lot to Nohar? Nephew. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I pray may God give us nephews. Basi naomba Mungu atupe nephews. Come on, may God give us nephews. Atupatie ma. You know there are people don't have nephews. Unajua kuna watu ambao hawana nephews. God give us nephews. Mungu na atupe hawa. In our family tree. Katika jamii zetu. May our nephews excel. Oh, waweza kufanikiwa. May they succeed. Wa, waweza kufanikiwa. May they move forward. Wasonge mbele. Let us pray for them. Tuwaombe. God give me my nephews. Oh, Mungu nipe nephew wangu. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? I am drawing the tree here. Ninachora mti hapa. So we have Abraham. Kwa hivyo tuna Abraham. We have Nohar. Tuna Nohar. And we have Haran. Na kuna Harani. They are the children of who? Hao ni watoto wa nani? Wa Terra. They are the children of who? Watoto wa Terra. Aha. And in that family, na katika jamii hiyo, we have one more person that we have been told about. Tuko na mtu mmoja ambaye tumeambiwa. Who is that? Huyo ni nani? Somebody say Lot. Lot. So Lot is among the family. Basi Lot ni wa jamii hiyo. Let's go to the next verse verse 28. Hebu tuende ndio katika aya 28. The Bible reads. Biblia inasema, while his father Terah was alive. Wakati ambapo baba yake huyu baba yao Terah alikuwa yungali yo. Haran. Harani died in Ur of the Chaldeans. Akafa pale Ur in the land of his birth. Katika inchi ya kuzaliwa kwake. Ah. What is happening here? Ni kitu gani ambacho kinatendeka hapa? Son number 1 Abraham is alive. Basi kijana wa kwanza Abrahamu yuko hai. Son number 2 Nohar is alive. Kijana wa pili Nohar yuko hai. But son number 3 lakini huyu wa tatu Harani. By the name Haran. Harani he died in Ur of the Chaldeans. Yeye akafa Uru wa, wa Kaledaya. So in the family line of Terah. Kwa hivyo katika uzao wa Terah the first thing I'm picking out kitu cha kwanza ambacho ninatazama is premature death. Kuna kifo cha mapema. I want to declare here today. Nataka kutangaza hapa jioni ya leo. Any premature death in your family. Kila kifo cha mapema katika jamii. It is not your portion in the name of Jesus. Kila sehemu yako katika jina la Yesu. I declare Ninatangaza from today kuanzia leo we will tell the devil no tutaambia shetani la our children will leave watoto wataishi our nephews will leave oh, binamu zetu our wataishi. cousins will leave binamu zetu wataishi brothers it is painful ndugu inahuzunisha when 
when parents bury their children wakati wazazi wanazika watoto wao it should not be parents burying children basi sio wazazi wanastahili kuzika watoto god never made it that way basi mungu hakutengeneza iwe hivyo it is painful ina, ina, when you bury your child wakati ambapo unamzika mtoto wako ni chungu are we together it is the children to bury the parents not the parents to bury the children ni watoto ambao wanastahili kuzika wazazi si wazazi wazike the enemy has attacked us for a long time oh shetani ametuvamia sehemu hiyo sana and we are saying no na tunasema la i say we are saying no na tunasema la say we are saying no sema tunasema la we are building a wall tuna jenga ukuta and we are drawing a line na tunaweka mstari and we are telling the devil you cannot cross here na tunaambia shetani hapa utavuka if you believe that shout a better amen kama unaamini hiyo sema amen we amina. declare today tuna Dangaza leo. No more premature death. Hakuna kifo cha mapema. Come on, no more premature death. Hakuna kifo cha mapema. Your children will live. Watoto wako wataishi. Shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. The other day it was so painful. Siku ile nyingine ilikuwa inahuzunisha. A month ago. Mia mwezi umepita. A young man who has been in the universities seven years studying being to be a doctor. Kijana mdogo ambaye amekuwa chuo kikuu miaka saba akijifunza kuwa daktari. And then graduated. Alafu anafuzu. In the first month of his job. Mwezi wa kwanza wa kazi yake. Along Fika Road. Kule wa barabara ya Fika. He is driving. Yeye anaendesha gari. Ha? Ha? And then he is hit by a matatu. Alafu anagongwa na matatu. And he drops off the car. Na na atoka nje ya gari and then there is a lorry coming alafu na kuna lorry inakuja and it walks on him na ina Peter Joya that is how he died even if he lived kufa he has not even enjoyed the money hata haja jipikia mwisho we are telling the devil no tunaambia shetani la come on we are saying no tunasema la we must live lazima tuishi to our fullness tuweza kuishi maisha timilifu do you believe that ya unaamini hiyo come on do you believe that ya unaamini hiyo let's keep going next verse tuendelee <laughs> Abraham Abrahamu and Nohar na Nahuri both married wote wakaoa The second thing I want to pick very quickly Jambo la pili ambalo nataka kuchukua hapo pesi There people who have delayed marriage Kuna watu ambao wanachelewa kuoa You wonder what is not happening Unashangaa ni kitu gani akitendeki I keep asking myself Mimi wanauliza A young man kijana has hit 25 30 amefikisha Miaka 25 30 and he has a big stomach. Na ana tumbo kubwa. Who is feeding this this guy? Ni nani analisha huyu jamaa? Hello? Hello? Come on, hello? Hello? A big stomach and he's not married. Tumbo kubwa na hajaoa. My friend, who is feeding you? Ni nani anakulisha? Hey guys. Who is feeding you? Nani anakulisha? Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. The Bible says Abraham and Nohar both married. Biblia inasema kwamba Abrahamu na Nahuri wote wakaoa. Today we want to make a prayer. Basi jioni leo tunataka kufanya ombi. Our daughters will not be delayed in marriage. Binti zetu hawatachelewa kuolewa. Our sons will not be delayed in marriage. Vijana wetu wa kiume hawatachelewa. When their time will come. Basi wakati wao kifika. When their time will come. Wakati wao kifika. When their time will come. Wakati wao kifika. There will be sisters. Oh, what there will be brothers. Watakuwa ndugu. They will walk down the aisle. Watatembea. And they will say yes I too. Wasema ndio. Abraham and Nohar. They both married. Abraham and Nahuri wote walio. If you believe that shout hallelujah. Amen. Hiyo sema hallelujah. We are releasing an anointing today. Tunaachilia upako siku ya leo. May the Lord bring marriages in Pepha Dandora oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, let the door Pepha Dandora katika jina la Yesu. If you believe that shout a better amen. Sema amina. We must fight with that spirit. Ni lazima tupigane na hiyo roho mchafu. We must fight it. Lazima tupigane nayo. Amen. Amen. You find a brother is happy in the company of sisters. Unapata ndugu anafurahia kuwa katikati ya wadada. And he walks like a king. Na anatembea kama mfalme. And he's not making any proposal. Na yeye hasemi jambo lolote. We want to refuse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody say yeah. Unasema ndio. Abraham Abraham and Nohar na Nahuri Come on read with me let's go together Abraham and Nohar both married mm. We release that anointing in Jesus name Unachilia roho ya kuona kwa Yesu Come on I say we release that anointing in Jesus name Unachilia hiyo roho katika jina la Yesu No more delay 
Hakuna kuchelewa tena. No more delay. Hakuna kuchelewa. No more delay. Hakuna kuchelewa. Parents if you are here. Mzazi kama uko hapa. Pray if you have daughters. Kama una binti. Pray for your sons in law. Basi wewe anza kuombea Uh, kijana yule ambaye atamuoa if you have if you have sons kama wewe una kijana begin to claim your daughters in law anza kudai uh, we possess and we claim in the name of jesus ya kwamba tunawadai katika jina lake we possess and we claim in the name of oh, jesus tunamiliki na tunadai katika jina lake if you believe that shout hallelujah sema amina let's keep reading endelea kusoma the name of abraham's wife was Jina la mke wa Abrahamu aliitwa Talk to me now please read the scriptures Zungumza pamoja nami The name of Abraham's wife was Jina la mke wa Abrahamu alikuwa ni Sarai So Abraham never married John So Abraham hakumoa John Abraham never married Peter Abraham hakumoa Peter Abraham never married Daniel Hakumoa Daniel Abraham never married uh, Michael. Abraham akumoa Michael. Abraham married Sarah. Abraham alimoa Sarah. We cancel the spirit of a man marrying another man. Tuna, we refuse, we reject, we stop it in Jesus name. Tunavunjilia mbali roho ya mwanaume kwa mwanaume mwenzake katika jina la Yesu. And nobody is with me in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham married Sarah. Bas Abraham alimoa Sarai. And the name of Noah's wife was Milka. Na jina la mke wa Nahuri ilikuwa ni Milka. She was the daughter of Haran. Yeye alikuwa ni binti wa Harani. No more information there. Bas hapa kuna habari nyingine zaidi. What are we getting? Tunapata nini? Tera. Ya kwamba Tera. Had many children? Alikuwa na watatu wangapi? Say three. Sema watatu. Number one. Wa kwanza. I can't hear you number one. Number two. Yahoo. And number three, Haran. Great. And then we are told in that family. Na basi tunaambiwa katika jamii hii. We had a we we had a grandson to Terah. Basi kulikuwa na mjukuu wa Terah. Nephew to Abraham. Basi mpwa wa Abraham. What was the name of that one? Jina lake lilikuwa ni nani? What was the name? Lutu. Lot. And then we are told. Alafia tunaambiwa Haran died. Haran yakafa. Amen. Amen. In the Ur of the Chaldeans. Akiwa pale kwa Uri wa Wakalidai. Haran died. Haran yakafa. We have fought the spirit of premature death. Basi tumepigana na roho ya kifo cha mapema. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. And then we are told Uh, Baada tunaambiwa two more people have been included. Basi kuna watu wawili ambao wame Abraham. Abraham has a wife. Ana mke sasa. What is the name of Abraham's wife? Jina la mke wa Abraham nani? Come on declare. Lift your hand and declare. Sarah. And what is the name of Nohar's wife? Basi na jina la mke wa Nohuru ni nani? Somebody shout it even louder. Milka. Can you can you see this family is growing? Je, unaona hii jamii inaendelea kupanuka? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tera. Tera, Abraham, Abrahamu, Nohar, Nahur, Haran, Haran, Lot, Lotu. Now we have Sarai, Sarah, we have who else? Milka. Milka. The family tree is oh, growing. Kizazi hiki kinaendelea kupanuka. Ne, and then the Bible says, A Biblia inasema hivi. Uh, Haran who was the father of both Milka and Isaka. Harani ambaye alikuwa ni baba ya Milka na Isaka. Amen. Amen. Hiyo story nataka niachie hapo, nitaiguza siku nyingine nikidil na mavijana story za makuzo. Kuna vijana wataki kuoa, wanakuwa wana makuzo. Huyu hey. ni kuzo wa mind. Na si kuzo kuna kitu anafanya. Hiyo hey. roho ishindwe katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Come on, hiyo roho ishindwe katika jina la Yesu. Na wana rifa hapa. Ishindwe katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unachukua maandiko vibaya, ushindwe kabisa Shindwe. wewe. Mmenyamaza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wacha niachie hiyo hapo. Niende next line. Mm. Next line please. This is another spirit we want to fight. Basi ni roho nyingine ambayo tunataka tupigane. The Bible says, na Biblia inasema, Now, sasa Sarah was childless. Sarai alikuwa tasa because she was not able to conceive. Kwa sababu hakuweza kupata mimba. In that line, katika uzao huo, there is a miracle in the life of Haran. Kuna kuna muujiza katika kizazi cha Harani. Haran Harani has lot. Hakona lutu. Haran. Haran has milka. Hakona milka. Haran. Halani has isaka. Hakona isaka. Amen. Amina. We are not told about na, 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 Nohar. Hatujazungumzia Nahur. Amen. Amina. But 
we are told about Abraham the firstborn lakini naandua Abraham ambaye ni mzaliwa wa kwanza he had a wife Sarah Sarai mke wake and the bible says na biblia inasema now Sarah na sasa Sarah huyu was childless alikuwa ni tasa in other words katika maneno mengine she was barren yeye alikuwa ni tasa i want to rise against the spirit of barrenness in the name of jesus na inoka kinyume ya roho ya utasa katika jina la Yesu my brothers and my sisters ndugu na dada zangu you don't know how painful it is wewe haujui na uchungu kiasi gani when in a marriage in a relationship wakati ambapo mko katika uhusiano in a relationship in a marriage katika ndoa and there are no children na mko ndoa na hamna watoto abraham never got a child abraham hakupata mtoto the bible says sarah was barren biblia inasema ya kwamba sarah alikuwa tasa today leo we rise against the spirit of barrenness tunainuka kinyume ya roho ya utasa oh nobody is in the house oh hakuna mtu aliye katika nyumba i say we rise against the spirit of barrenness sema tunainuka kinyume ya roho ya utasa my brother that spirit can come from far Oh ndugu yangu roho hiyo inaweza toka mbali. And I will show you. Nami nitawaonyesha. It came from far. Ilitoka mbali. Today. Leo we break it in Jesus name. Naivunja katika jina la Yesu. I say we break it in Jesus name. Naivunja katika jina la Yesu. Lift your hand and say no more barrenness. Inua mkono wako useme hakuna utasa Come tena. Come lift your hand and declare no more barrenness. Sema hakuna utasa tena. We release fruitfulness. Tuta ishi katika uzao. We release fruitfulness. Tunaachilia Uzao. We release fruitfulness. Unaachilia kuzaa. Come on lift your hand and say I release fruitfulness. Inua mkono wako useme ninaachilia kuzaa. Lift your lift your two hands. Inua mikono yako miwili. Pray for your children. Ombea watoto wako. Pray for your daughters. Ombea binti zako. Pray for your sons. Ombea vijana wako kwa kina. The spirit of barrenness. Wa. It is not your portion. It will not follow you. It will not come after you. The Lord will bring fruitfulness. The Lord will bring fruitfulness. The Lord will bring fruitfulness. Receive in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Thank you, thank you. Come on, shout a better amen. Sema amina. Verse number, let's go to next verse. Hmm. Tuendelee ama tusiendelee? Tuendelee ama tusiendelee? I was given 3 hours so don't worry. Nilipewa masaa 3 kwa hivyo msio na hofu. I'm within my time frame. Mimi bado ningali katika mipaka ya saa. Can we read that one now the next verse verse 31? Can we read together? Let's go. Tera took his son Abraham, his grandson Lord, or son of Haran, and his daughter in law Sarah, the wife of his son Abraham, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan but when they came to Haran they settled there hmm. who am i preaching to here today I wish I was in law. Anachukua binti mkuu wake. And he knows. Na anajua. We are not settling here. Sisi hatukai hapa. In the ur of the Chaldeans. Huko kwa uri kwa Wagalidayo. There is a place we are headed. Na mahali ambapo tunaelekea. We are supposed to go to Canaan. Tunastahili kufika Canaan. Hallelujah. Amen. And so they set out on a journey. Kwa hivyo wanaanza mwendo. I believe Tera was an old man. Na tumai Tera alikuwa ni mzee. No wonder the Bible says Ya Biblia inasema Tera took his son Abraham. Tera alimchukua mwana wa Ibrahim. And his grandson Lot. Na mjukuu wake Lot. I believe he's walking with his grandson. Tumai anatembea na mjukuu. They are having fellowship. Oh, miguu hata zinakuwa na ushirika. They are going to Canaan. Zina wanaenda Canaan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham his son is there. Abraham kijana wake yuko pale. Sarah is there. Sarah yuko pale. They are going to the promised land. Wanaenda nchi ya Hadi. A land flowing with milk and honey. Nchi ambayo ina maziwa. A land that God had promised them. Nchi ambayo Mungu alikuwa a land of freedom. Oh, a land, land of more than enough. They are headed to Canaan. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unasikia kile ambacho anasema? Unajua mimi na ndugu yangu tunasemiana. Tunaenda Canaan. Kwa sababu tunataka kwenda Canaan. Unajua mara nyingine kulikuwa na mamba ikatuzuia. Lakini sasa tunaona njia iko wazi kabisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they are there. Baba wako pale. And they are going. Na wanaenda. They are holding they are holding their hands. Wanashikilia mikono. There are many people here. Kuna watu wengi hapa. Who have not gone to their Canaan. Baba wajafika Canaan yao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have settled. Wame tulia. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. When Terah 
Tera, when Terah wakati Terah and Abraham, na Abrahamu, together with Sarah pamoja na Sarai and Lord na Lutu, when they arrived in Haran walipofika Haran they settled oh, waka, there wakafanya makao yao pale today leo we want to break the spirit tunataka kuvunja roho of starting roho ya kuanza and not finishing na kutomaliza i say we break the spirit tunavunja roho of starting ya kuanza and not finishing na kutomaliza from today kuanzia leo she will start utaanza she will finish na utamaliza she will start utaanza she will finish na utamaliza i say you will start she will finish you will finish na utamaliza if you believe it say yeah na mimi sema ndio whatever you are believing god chochote ambacho unamwamini mungu kwa yeye whatever you are trusting god chochote kile ambacho unamtumainia mungu kwa yeye that degree you will finish basi nina tangaza kwamba that house you will finish oh the dream of your life going to canada no, going to america canada, going america, to australia going to britain no demon of stopping your visa Hakuna from today visa. from today leo. Leo. the spirit of stopping your visa you cannot visa. get your visa Ati because when you want to go Mano, no, there no, is the demon that stops you Mano, we break Mano, it Mano, in the name of Mano, jesus we break it in the name of Jesus. May you stand. Hebu uweza kuenda. And you will finish. Once and umalize. Is somebody in the house? Je, kuna mtu katika nyumba? Is somebody in the house? Je, kuna mtu katika nyumba? Is somebody in the house? Je, kuna mtu katika nyumba? He started. Alianza mwendo. But he never finished. Lakini hakumaliza. I said he started. Sema alianza, but he never finished. Lakini hakufika kwenye mwisho wa safari yake. Yeye akafanya makazi. Many of you, wengi wenu, the Bible says, Biblia inasema, no eye has seen. Oh, jicho halijaona. No ear has heard. Sikio halijasikia. What the Lord yale ambayo Mungu has prepared amekuandalia for them that trust in him. Wajili ya wale ambao wanamwamini. My brother, ndugu yangu, here in Dandora, hapa Dandora, I came with my one message. Nilikuja na ujumbe mmoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have not yet seen what the Lord has done. Haujaona kile ambacho Mungu amefanya. You are not a poor person. Wewe si maskini. You are not useless. Wewe si bure. You are not what they describe you. Wewe si You are a child of God. Wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. I declare today. Natangaza leo. Millionaires are seated here. Basi yenye mambo seated here men who are more than conquerors men who are victors men who are successful men that the door is that the lord is opening doors may you succeed in the name of jesus may you succeed in the name of jesus may you flourish in the name of jesus somebody say yes We declare from today tunatangaza kuanzia leo doors are opening milango zinafunguka I said doors are opening milango zinafunguka I said doors are opening milango zinafunguka Come on doors are opening milango zinafunguka You will not settle for anything less Wewe hauta kama mahali ambapo ni kitu duni whatever is mine whatever chochote ambacho ni mine ni changu and the devil cannot tunya me na shetani hawezi akanipokoja oh whatever is mine oh it is mine chochote ambacho ni changu ni changu and the devil cannot tunya me na shetani hawezi akanyanyanya whatever is mine chochote ambacho ni changu ni changu and the devil cannot tunya me na shetani hawezi akanipokoja we release you to your greatness tunawaachilia kwa ukuu i say we release you to your greatness tunawaachilia kwa ukuu we release you to your success tunawaachilia We release you to your victory. We release you to your blessings. You will not settle. Oh, how to in in Haran. Pale Harani. You will go to your Canaan. Utafika Canaan yako. Do you believe that? Ya unaamini hiyo? Shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Come on shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Look at the next verse. Hebu angalia andiko linalofuata. Are you following my tree? Je, una unafuatilia kizazi hicho are you following my tree je unafuatilia hicho kizazi look at your family hebu angalia jamii yako look at the last verse the last verse the last verse haya ya mwisho oh nilikuwa na meza kitu hallelujah hallelujah you can't handle this anointing hallelujah hallelujah look at the last verse hebu angalia aya ya mwisho the bible reads biblia inasema read with me soma pamoja nami let's read together verse 32 can we read it together aya 32 lift your hand and let's read that one together lift your hand ino mkono wako lift your right hand ino mkono wako now read it even louder one two three let's go tera lived 205 years, years and he died, died in haran what do i want to say ni kitu gani ambacho nataka kusema you will live to the fullness of your life. I said you will live 
to the fullness of your life. And today, I rise against cancer. I rise against corona. I rise against diabetic. I rise against kidney failure. I rise against any ailment. We declare the anointing of God is here. The fire of God is here. You cancer will nullify you. You kidney failure will nullify you. If you are sick, if you are sick, put your hand wherever you are sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release miracles in the house. We release healing in the house. We break every work of the enemy. We break every power of the evil one. Father, we Release your fire right now. We set your children free. We set your children free. My father and my God. Tara live 205 years. I declare today. Everybody under here. They will live. They will live to the fullness of their life. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Shout Amen. Amen. Let me mention a few things and I will be done. What is divine encounter? Number one. Divine encounter. Because these things must change. Look, look, look. Abraham. Abraham. Sarah. Sarah was barren. Alikuwa ni tasa. By the miracles of God. At 90. God blessed him. And Sarah conceived. And gave birth to a son. By the name. Come on talk to me by the name. He married who? He married who? Rebecca. 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 What happened with Rebecca? Rebecca? She was. The spirit is following. Oh, Rebecca was barren. Atapia, Rebecca alikuwa ni tasa. By the miracles of God. Lakini kwa miujiza ya Mungu. A miracle happened. Oh, muujiza ukafanyika. And there were two nations. Na kulikuwa na mataifa mawili. Jacob, Yakobo, and Isaac. Talk to me bam somebody. Hebu nizungumzie. Jacob and Yakobo na nani? What happened to Jacob? Ni kitu gani kilitendekea Yakobo? Who did Jacob marry? Yakobo alimuoa nani? Leah, was he able to conceive? Was he able to conceive? The spirit was following. Today, Leo, it will not follow you. I said it will not follow you. I said it will not follow you. If you believe it, say yes. What is divine encounter? Number one, securing the hand of God. Securing the hand of God in your life. May the hand of God come over your life. May the hand of God visit you. May the hand of God identify you. May the hand of God locate you. May the hand of God come over your life. May the hand of God pick you wherever you are. May the hand of God be over your life. Oh yes, there was a man by the name Jabez. He was born in pain. Whatever he did was pain. People called him pain. His name meant pain. But when the hand of God came over his life, everything about him changed. There was a man by the name Jacob. He was a con man. He was a man you could not trust. When he had an encounter with God, and the hand of God touched his waist, and he changed him. His walking style changed. His name changed. Hallelujah. From Jacob to Israel. Why? The hand of God touched him. May the hand of God touch you today. May the hand of God touch you today. May the hand of God touch you today. Nimeuona mimi mkono wa Bwana Nimeuona mkono wa Bwana
Bwana. Ah, nimeuona mimi mkono wa Bwana Yesu. Nimeuona mkono wa Bwana. It doesn't matter what you are facing. Haijalishi kile ambacho unakumbana. It doesn't matter what you are encountering. Haijalishi mambo ambayo unakumbana. The hand of God. Mkono wa Mungu. The hand of God. Mkono wa Mungu. I say the hand of God. Mkono wa Mungu. I say the hand of God. Mkono wa Mungu. Haijawa rahisi. Kufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu. Come on. Hey. Haijawa rahisi. Hey, hey, hey. Kufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu. Umefanya nini? May the hand of God carry you from wherever you are. May the hand of God lift you from wherever you are. The Bible tells me He raises the poor from the dust from a place of rejection from a place where there are nothing where there are nobodies he raises them 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 that they may sit with the kings we release that anointing in the name of Jesus. We release that anointing in the name of Jesus. May Jehovah raise you. May Jehovah raise you. If you're there, say yes. Yeah. What does the hand of God mean? Four things very quickly. Number one. The hand of God means the help of God. May God help you. I say may God help you. I say may God help you. Number two. What does the hand of God mean? Protection of God. May God protect you. Those who are planning to fight you. They will not reach. They will not reach. They will not make it. I say they will not make it. I say they will not make it. You are protected. You are protected. I say you are protected. He that dwelleth in the secret place of thy he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust. He is my refuge and my fortress. Psalms 91. Zaburi tisini na moja. May the Lord protect you. Bana na kulin. And I declare you are protected. Na mi natangaza kwamba umelindwa. You are not protected only one week. Basi au lindwi wiki moja tu. Not two weeks. Sio majuma mawi. Not one day. Sio siku moja. You don't need G4S. You don't need G4S. You don't need a watchman. You don't need a gun. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. I say the fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. Have you not read? Have you not read? In the book of Zechariah. Chapter number 2. The Bible says. I the Lord. Shall be a wall. Of fire. Around them. And I'm touching you. He's touching fire. I say he's touching fire. I declare you are protected. I say you are protected. Say yes. Number one, the hand of God, securing the hand of God, it means the help of God. Number two, the protection of God. Number three, the supply of God. God will supply. Oh, Mungu atakutana na mahitaji yako. God will supply. Mungu atakutana na mahitaji yako. All your needs. Mahitaji yako yote according to his riches. Sawa sawa na utajiri wake. In his glory. Katika utukufu wake. May the Lord meet with your needs. Bwana 
the Lord send an angel. May the Lord send an angel. May the Lord send somebody. May the Lord visit you at your point of need. And I declare here today, you will not die. I said you will not die. I say you will not die. Our God is not dead. Our God is alive. If he did it yesterday, he can do it today. Receive your supply. Receive your supply. Receive your supply. Somebody say, yeah. The hand of God, number the last thing. It means the lifting of God. The lifting of God. The lifting of God. Somebody needs to seriously pray. That somebody in your family must be lifted. If we are all poor in the family, it is bad. Who will help you? My brother is sick. In the hospital, I finish this and I go visit him. They wrote a medicine, one medicine, they wrote one medicine, 50,000. And they wanted him to swallow that one five days. And I said, no problem. Which one is the first one? I sent the first 50,000. Hello. Hello. And I told God, God, this money. It's not for sickness. It's for the gospel. Ah. If we are all poor, if you are sick, you put a WhatsApp. Before they know it is you who is sick, they left. And you will die. We declare today. May God lift somebody in your family. Hallelujah. 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 Wakuwe ma permanent secretary. Wakuwe ambassadors. Manane. Wakuwe sibi nyef nyef nye nye nye. Na wea unakatu wapo. Ile kazi unataka nye kufagia. Ati mugu ni bariki. Kazi tunakata katika jina la yesu. Amen. Mungu wanyanyue moja. Yes. If you believe with me, say I hear you. Kama unamini ya mitema na kusikia muhubiri. Baba na umba kubariki wanawe. Sitoki hapa usiponi bariki baba na umba baba usiponi bariki o jeso da ho ya e kuradimwana we digiuma Nitaomba Baba mbaka uninue Kama uninua fulani Na ukainua fulani Ninaomba baba uninue Inua mtoto wangu Inua msana wangu Inua buwana Tiki umaha Ota Are you feeling what I'm saying? Jamu na hisi kila maja nasema Number two, what is divine encounter? Jamu la pili kukutana kiungu ni nini? It is seeing the intervention of God In the affairs of men Ni kweza kuona Ah Mungu akiingilia katika maswala ya wanadamu. May God intervene in your affairs. Mungu naweza kuingilia kati katika maswala yako. Kimeumana mbaya tena. Kubaya. Yaani hakuna hope. hope. Hakuna Paka watu wamekuandikia historia. Imagine. Kwamba wewe ndio yule ambaye hauta hauta make. Eh. Uh-huh. Hauwezi make. Atauta. Uh-huh. Lakini leo tunasema we are declaring God Mungu aingilie kati Mungu na God intervene Come on, may God intervene Mungu na aingilie kati Sema amen Amina 
I am believing after this sermon. Naamini ya kwamba baada ya ujumbe huu many lives are going to be there is somebody the Lord is lifting from this congregation. Kuna mtu ambaye Mungu anainua katika umati huu. There are doors that God is opening in this congregation. Kuna milango ambazo Mungu anafungua. There are businesses the Lord is releasing in this congregation. Kuna biashara ambazo Mungu anafungua. I can see some international jobs are coming over your life in Jesus name. Ninaona kazi za kitaifa zikija jua. The Lord raising you. Naona Mungu akikuinua. Somebody said Mungu mtu akasema when you see a, a, what do you call a that thing? a tortoise is on top of a wall ukimwona mzee kope juu ya ukuta just know it never took itself there ujue hakujipandisha pale somebody put it there kuna mtu ambaye alimpandisha pale i declare in dandora today natangaza hapa dandora you may not know anybody wenda usimjue you may not have deep state wenda una you may not have anybody to help you una mtu wa kukusaidia there is a god in heaven lakini kuna mungu there is a god in heaven kuna mungu mbinguni intervening in your life Mungu na atende katika maisha yako. Somebody say amen. Ndio nasema amina. I have four more things but I'm skipping them. Nina mambo mengine manne lakini ninayaruka. Why? Kwa nini? Because I want to close. Sababu nataka kutamatisha. Ukihubiri sana unaanza kuharibu ile ulitengeneza mzuri so yeah. unamalizi yanga hapo vizuri ngawaje niko ndaka kadhaa but let me finish it this way wacha nimalize hivi in genesis 11 katika mwanzo mlango wa 11 verse 32 aya 32 tera died at the age of 200 and 5 years tera akafa akiwa na miaka 205 and he was buried in haran na kazikwa harani That was the end of Tera. Basi huo ndio ulikuwa mwisho wa Tera. That family tree. Basi huo mti it was uzao. brought up to chapter 11 verse 32. Ililetwa mpaka mlango wa 11 aya 32. And there mbili. must be a cutting. Na lazima kuwe na kukata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to declare Nataka kutangaza where you have reached today. Mahali ambapo umefika leo. It is chapter 11. Pale mlango wa 11 verse 32. Aya 32. Now sasa it is not about tera sasa si, haimuhusu tera tena it's about abraham oh sasa ina, ina abraham may you may abraham rise basi abraham say me abraham rise abraham na inuke i say me abraham rise abraham na inuke i say me abraham rise abraham na inuke ah mm. kama ningekuwa saudi wangekuwa mwanza kutoa sadaka hapa mbele No ni kweli hapa ni dandora eh hey. oh, hapa ni okay <laughs> baba mungu anointing ya south bee ishuke yes. hapa katika china la yesu bishop randa kihubiri pesa ziwe zinatembea katika china la yesu sema amen sema amena you can never get money if you don't give money hawezi ukapata pesa usipopatiana pesa Mama Jena Duda angesimama. Yeah. Anakuja na dance na dance na dance. Hey. Na kwa 75 years. Yes. Ana dance na dance na dance na hey. dance. Anaachilia. Ana, Anaekelea thao. Hey. Na sasa hiyo injili na waka moto. Yes. Sasa mngekoa mnaniandikaje kama mngekoa mnaweka kitu. Hivi mnakaa wacha nikatakata vitu vingine. <laughs> Verse number 12, chapter number 12. Ah mlango wa 12. I am about to finish don't worry. Niko karibu kutamatisha usijali. Now Abraham takes over. Dasa Abraham mwana wa Tera anachukua usukani. I challenge you today. Ninawatia changamoto. Take over. Chukua usukani. I say take over. Chukua usukani. Ah uh, you are not hearing what I'm saying. Chukua usukani. Whatever your dad did. Kile ambacho baba yako alifanya. It has come to an end. Kimefika mwisho. Bishop Randa knows. The Askof Randa anajua. My father never had land. Baba yangu hakuwa na shamba. He was not given any land. Yeye hakupewa shamba lolote. He never had any inheritance. Yeye hakuwa na urithi. We were living like birds. Tulikuwa tunaishi kama ndege. But today, lakini leo, we have land. Tuna shamba. Even last week, last week, hata juma ambalo limepita, I I added more. Niliongeza sehemu nyingine ya shamba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am continuing to grow. Ninaendelea kukua. I declare today. Natangaza leo. Abraham is taking over. Abraham sasa anachukua usukani. Abraham is taking over. Abraham anachukua usukani. And we come to chapter 12. Na tunafika mlango wa 12. Are you ready for chapter 12? Je, uko hapa mlango wa 12? Okay, let's go together. The Lord had said to Abraham Bwana alikuwa ameambia Abraham go from your country mm-hmm. your people and your father's household to the land i will show you Bwana akamwambia Abraham toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako wende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha endelea kukaa hapo Let's continue endelea kukaa staying hapo. where you are staying wakati umefika 
Time has come. You must take a risk. Lazima uchukue ujihatarishe. Kama mbaya ni mbaya. Lakini ninaenda. But I'm going. Sema amen. Amina. Usikae tu hapo. Oh, hakuna kazi. Oh, eh, hey, nye nye nye. Oh, eh, hey, oh nyef nyef. Eh, hey, my friend, tafuta maji. Yes. Tafuta maji. Tafuta maji. Tafuta sabuni. Look for a soap. Fungua kawash. Uh-huh. Andika Kenya kwanza ama Azimio kawash. Yes. Anza kuosha magari Mungu akuinue kutoka hapo. Amen. Sema amen. Amina. Chukua rangi, rangi, rangi. Chukua rangi. Na, na brush. Yes. Watu wanakuja tati anaenda. Shoe Haita, polish. Haitajianika hapa unashanga unapigenga rangi viato. Ah ah. Mbona mnaniangalia namna hiyo? Bishop kuna ndugu ule wa, wa, wa Donholm. Kuna ndugu wa Donholm alicho za town. Alikuwa na cho moja, mbili, tatu. Anasema cho ya kwanza alifungua na mikono ikiwa wazi. Watu wakiwa meheka zile vitu zao akafungua. Lakini watu wakienda susu kobole. Wakienda ile kitu kingine ku download ashu. Anasema kwa siku alikuwa ananyorosha shilingi 1500 akaendelea mpaka kwa siku alikuwa ananyorosha milioni moja. wewe endelea tu kaa hapo ndimo dhomu eh ni ndi graduate ka atutakula hiyo graduate wako my friend tafuta kitu ya kufanya mbona msemi amen ndo sema amina who am i talking to here today hello hello nazungumzia nani hapa siku hii unakaa tu hapo kimaembe maembe kimalamala hiyo roho ya kukaa tu nde ishindwe katika jina, jina la yesu huko tu huko tu tumbo tu ndio ina, ina una mesha ni kama iko na mimba mwanaume mzima mimba ya kazi gani anza kufanya kazi ambayo italeta matunda ndani ya jamii katika jina la Yesu amen si mtu aseme amen amen ni nataka kumaliza <laughs> bishop mwalili aliwapanguza kidogo acha mimi ni wanyorosha sasa hiyo ingine bishop rana anakuja kutengeneza nikiwa nimeenda <laughs> haleluya haleluya <laughs> haleluya amen biblia inasema the bible says kwamba abraham that abraham bwana akamwambia god told him ondoka live now kwenye nchi yako go from your country kwenye watu wako from your people kwenye nyumba ya baba yako from the house of your father na and go katika nchi nitakayokuonesha the land that i'm going to show you it is time to take a risk ni wakati wa kujihatarisha come on it is time to take a risk ni wakati wa kujihatarisha if you believe that shout a better amen come on amen you sema amina if you do that ukifanya hivyo there will be seven blessings kutakuwa na baraka saba that god will give you ambazo mungu atakupa next verse But I I know Twitter. He says like this, blessing number 1. Baraka ya kwanza. I will make you into a great nation. Nitakufanya uwe taifa kubwa. I declare. Ninatangaza. May you become a great nation. Fanyike kuwa taifa kubwa. May you become a great nation. Fanyike kuwa taifa kubwa. May you become a great nation. Fanyike kuwa taifa kubwa. Wanao ni darao siku moja watanisalimia kwa heshima. 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 Watanisalimia kwa heshima. Watanisalimia kwa heshima. May the Lord bring that anointing in your life in Jesus name. Bwana analeta upako wa maishani mwako katika jina la Yesu. Somebody say yeah. Mtu anasema ndio. Blessing number one, I will make you into a great Baraka ya kwanza nitakufanya uwe taifa kuu. Number 2. God is telling Abraham. Bwana Mungu anaambia Abraham. Number 2. Jambo la pili. And I will bless you. Nami nitakubariki. I will bless you. Nitakubariki. It is not your uncle. Si uh, mjomba wako. It is not your friend. Sio rafiki wako. It is not your father. Sio baba yako. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah mwenyewe. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah mwenyewe. Jehovah Rafa. Jehovah Jehovah Tikenu. Jehovah Jehovah. 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 I will bless you. Nitakubariki. I declare you are blessed. Natangaza ya kwamba umebarikiwa. I declare you are blessed. Natangaza ya kwamba umebarikiwa. I declare you are blessed. Natangaza ya kwamba umebarikiwa. I declare you are blessed. Natangaza umebarikiwa. I declare you are blessed. Natangaza umebarikiwa. Number 3. Jambo la tatu. I will make your name great. Nitafanya jina lako kuwa kuu. May the Lord make your name great. Bwana nafanye jina lako kuwa kuu. Ah, may the Lord make your name great. Nafanya jina lako likuwe kuu. You will not die until the Lord has made your name great. Bwana hautakufa hadi Mungu akuinue ah, kwa jina. May the Lord make your name great. Mungu nafanya jina lako kuu. Lift your hand and say Jehovah. Ninao mkono wako sema Jehovah Baba. Jehovah. Sema Jehovah. Make my name great. Fanya jina langu liwe kuu. Number 4. 
Baraka ya nne. And you will be a blessing. Nawe utakuwa baraka. Come on shake your neighbor say you will be a blessing. Tigisa jirani mwambie utakuwa baraka. Muhubirie mwambie you will be a blessing. Mwambie utakuwa baraka. Come on muhubirie mwambie you will be a blessing. Ambia baraka. Come on declare you will be a blessing. Mtangazia utakuwa baraka. Number 5. Baraka ya tano. Next verse. I will bless those who bless you. Nitabariki wala wadao kubariki. What does that mean? Na maanisha nini? God will bless those who bless you. Mungu atabariki wale wanao kubariki. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Number 6. Baraka ya sita. And I will curse whoever curses you. Na yeyote anayekulaani nitamlaani. It is not your work to curse people. Sio kazi yako kulaani watu. Waachia God awashughulikie. Waachia Mungu akawalaani. And anybody trying to curse you. Na yeyote ambaye anajaribu kukulaani. I declare today. Ninatangaza leo. You are uncursable. Wewe hauwezi walk naked. Wanaweza kutembea wauchi. They can fly in your house at night. Hata wapae juu ya nyumba yako usiku akiwa uchi. They can sleep on the grave. Wanaweza kulala kwa makaburi. They can take your footsteps. Wanaweza chukua nyayo ya miguu yako. They can put you in the Unaweza kukuweka kwenye chupa. Natangaza. Wewe hauwezi kulaaniwa. Shout amen. Sema amina. Anybody fighting you? Yeyote anayepigana nawe. Is fighting with God. Anapigana na Mungu. God will take care of them. Mungu atawashughulikia. Sema amina. Sema amina. The last one. Ya mwisho. Number 7. Ya saba. Number 7 next verse please. Aya inayofuata. Oh yes. And all the people on earth will be blessed through you na watu wote wa ulimwengu watabarikiwa kupitia wewe lift your hands like that basi wewe inua mikono yako hivi lift your hands like that inua mikono yako hivi lift your hands in the heavens inua mikono yako juu mbinguni najua hii connection si rahisi lakini nitajaribu eh inua mikono inua macho yako mbinguni inua macho yako mbinguni lift up your eyes baraka nyingi baraka twaitaji Tumepokea kia asi bali twataka nyingi baraka baraka nyingi baraka twaitaji tena tumepokea kia asi bali twataka I don't want to pray today. Sitaki kuomba siku ya leo. I feel the Lord just saying, let them give. Na hisi mwana akisema watoe tu. And I will bless them. Nami nitawabariki. Amen. Amen. Get a nice offering. Wewe tafuta sadaka mzuri. Something that you will call my breakthrough offering. Sadaka ambayo unaita ya upenyo. I am carrying mine here. Mimi na beba yangu hapa. Even me I want breakthrough. Hata mimi nataka upenyo. Get something you call your breakthrough. Pata kitu ambacho unaita upenyo wako. Your divine encounter. Basi ile ya kukutana na Mungu. It may be a sacrifice you've never given before. Inaweza kuwa ni dhabihu hujawahi patiana hapo. Something that will transform you. Kitu ambacho kitakubadilisha. What I've spoken today will become your portion. Kila ambacho nimenena leo kitafanyika kwa sehemu yako. And I want you to come and just lay it over here. Nami nataka uje uiwekelee hapa. And you trust God. Na umwamini Mungu. For divine doors to open. Kwa milango maalumu zikufunguke. That this someone I have preached. Ya kwamba baada ya ujumbe huu ambao nimehubiri. Your family tree. Mti wako ama uzao wako. It will change. Utabadilika from today. Kuanzia leo. Something will happen. Kitu kitafanyika. Something will happen. Kitu kitafanyika. I have seen the Lord do things in the lives of people. Nimeona Bwana akitenda mambo katika maisha ya watu. I was preaching in South B. Nilikuwa nahubiri pale South B. And I was preaching on giving. Na nilikuwa nanena kuhusu kutoa. And I preached. Na nikahubiri. And I said nothing leaves heaven. Na nikasema hakuna kitu kinachotoka mbinguni. Until something leaves the earth. Hadi kitu kitoka hapa ulimwenguni hakuna kitu kinatoka mbinguni hadi kitu kitoka hapa ulimwenguni there was this brother kulikuwa na huyu ndugu he had no money hakuwa na pesa he removed his shoes alitoa viatu zake his shoes was stinking viatu zake zilikuwa zinanuka zilikuwa ni chafu it was dirty zilikuwa ni chafu he came and placed it there na akaja akaziwekelea pale on the on the offering pale kwa kwa matoleo and he left na akatoka he went home akaenda nyumbani without shoes bila kiatu and he was trusting god na alikuwa anamwamini mungu for traveling kwa kusafiri this guy is is a class 8 graduate failure 
Huyu jamaa amehitimu kidato ake darasa la nane kwa kuanguka. Never been to form 1. Yeye hajafika kidato cha kwanza. He was trusting God. Yeye alikuwa anamwamini Mungu. All he had. Chote alichokuwa nacho was his dirty shoes. Ilikuwa ni viatu vyake vichafu. And he gave them. Na akavitoa. And he went. Na akaenda. His name is Baraza. Jina lake ni Baraza. I want to tell you. Nataka kuambia. From that time. Kuanzia siku hiyo. God opened doors. Mungu alifungua milango. Baraza lives in the US. Baraza anakaa kule Amerikani. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Je, unasikia kile ambacho anasema? Anasema just said on the altar. Kile nikasema madhabahu. If today you give, kiwa utatoa leo, the Lord will open a door for you. Mungu atakufungulia milango. I only want two people. Na watu wawili tu to give a thousand. Nataka watu wawili watoe 1000. And one brother gave a thousand. Na kuna ndugu mmoja alitoa 1000. His name is Michael. Jina lake ni Michael. He was trusting God to go to the US. Yeye alikuwa anamwamini Mungu kwenda US. Today he lives in the US. Yeye leo anakaa US. You can connect in this anointing right now. Unaweza kuunganika na upako huu sasa hivi. Can I get an amen? Nipate amina. Divine encounter. Basi kukutana kiungo. You give as the Lord enables you. We patiana venye Mungu anavyokuwezesha. We may stand up now. Tusimame sasa. And just give as the Lord enables you. Na wewe upatiane venye Mungu anavyokuwezesha. And I want us to do a song kwa kipole sio kama mtatoboa hiyo lakini ni sawa tu. Nisiku na kama kuna mtu anataka kupeana na till number 59801 Oh, 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 oh,